many discussions around the theme of sustainability, the terms LCA and PCF are widely used as measurements to characterise the sustainability of a material or process. Sometimes they are even used to refer to the same characteristic, but they are not the same thing. The full life cycle of a product includes the extraction of resources, production, use and recycling of the product up to disposal of remaining waste. The Product Carbon Footprint PCF communicates the amount of greenhouse gas emissions that are produced or consumed during the life cycle of a product. This can include all the stages of the use of a product from its production to its final end of life. More typically, the PCF calculation is limited to a portion of the overall life cycle. PCF related emissions are split into three broad groupings, scope one, scope two, and scope three. Scope 1 covers the direct CO2 emissions associated with manufacturing the product. This includes energy for both the manufacturing process and material transport during the production process. Scope 2 covers the indirect CO2 emissions associated with the energy used for manufacturing and transport of a product. Usually this consists of CO2 emissions generated in producing the energy used for the manufacturing process. Scope 3 covers the indirect CO2 emissions associated with the production and transport of the raw materials used to make a product. LCA, or Life Cycle Analysis, is a methodology that is designed to help measure and quantify the end-to-end -end environmental impacts of a product, process or service. LCA considers not only the greenhouse gas emissions, but also the impacts on other resources, which may include water and soil. The key elements of Life Cycle Analysis are 1 identify and quantify the environmental loads involved. These can include the energy and raw materials consumed, the emissions and wastes generated. Two, evaluate the potential environmental impacts of these loads. Three, assess the options available for reducing these environmental impacts. When evaluating a PCF or LCA, it is important to identify what part of the life cycle of the product or process is being included in the evaluation. The three most common approaches are cradle to gate. The term cradle to gate covers evaluation of PCF and LCA from base raw material, the cradle, to the point at which the product is delivered, the factory gate. This approach is widely used by raw material producers. Cradle to Grave The Cradle to Grave approach includes further information on what happens to the product after it's produced and how it is disposed of at the end of the product life. Cradle to Cradle Cradle to Cradle evaluations consider a process where some or all of the components are recycled for use as new raw materials for the same product. This includes many of the same steps as the Cradle to Gate scenario all the way to end use of the final product and additionally the steps involved with recycling the final product back into raw materials. In many PCF calculations the Scope 3 emissions are often the largest component of the overall PCF. This becomes a challenge as the information needed for Scope 3 calculations is not coming from the manufacturer of the final product but from the rest of the upstream value chain. Cradle to gate is the most common approach used when evaluating the product life cycle. But cradle to grave and even cradle to cradle might be important depending on the application and how and where the information is being used. Geographical origin for a raw material is often a significant variable. 
This is not just in terms of the energy needed to transport, but also how the raw material is produced. Geographical origin has an especially important impact on scope 3 figures. CO2 is the measure used for emissions for PCF, but CO2 is not the only emission that impacts global warming. Methane, CH4, and nitrous oxide, NO2, are two others, and both have a much bigger influence. Fortunately, there are global standards which apply a factor multiplier to different emissions. For example, one kilogram of nitrous oxide is calculated as being equivalent to 298 kilograms of CO2. The origin of the data used for PCF calculations can also be a challenge. Much of the background data, such as electricity generation numbers, come from external databases, and there can be considerable differences between the outputs of different databases. Different standards used by different producers and different industries can lead to different end results. There can also be issues reconciling these different approaches.